Good people, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddlehead. Let's learn how to make scales fun. The goal is for you to have a good time while you practice. Here are three ways to make scales fun. First, drone practice. Second, connecting scales with tunes. Third, adding variation to scales. In this lesson, I'm gonna to briefly touch on these three approaches with some examples. There are dedicated lessons on fiddlehead.com for each of these approaches. First way to make practice fun, drone practice. Drone is a reference pitch that helps you play in tune. Not only does it help you play in tune, but it really makes practice more musical. Even scales and stuff just sounds more musical and a lot more enjoyable. Plus, I've found that with my in-person students, they tend to have a better sound, a better tone when they use drones, which I can't really explain. Second way to make scale practice fun is connecting scales with tunes. It's simple. Just play a tune and a scale and go back and forth between the two. So, Arkansas Traveler is in the key of D major, so you can start the D major scale. Then play your tune a little bit. Go back to the scale. After a while, you'll start to hear that scale in the tune. And when you're creatively practicing the scales, you might start to hear them as small melodic units. Some other ideas, you could stay on one scale and play different tunes that use that scale. So we just did Arkansas Traveler. Another tune in D is one called Kerfunken Jig. Go back to the scale. Kind of start to hear this scale in the tune. So again, this is just going to make these scales seem so much more fun, right? So another way to approach this is to stay with one tune and transpose it to different keys or different scales. So with Kerfunken, we could start on G2, which puts it in the key of G major. And on and on. You could also do harder transpositions that, that are use a different fingering. That was in C. How do you know what the scale is for the tune? Good question. Go to fiddlehead.com because there you'll find for each tune there's a dedicated page which will tell you what the scale is, provide a drone track for you to practice both, and um, there'll be sheet music and tabs. The third way to make scale practice fun is to add variation. There are six types of variation. First is rhythmic, so adding something like hoe down to the scale. Swing. So on. Second way to add variation to scales, um, slur patterns, like slur two. Slur four, slur eight, so on and so forth. The third way to add variation to scales is texture. So we could do something like tremolo bow, plucking. All right. Fourth way is to add melodic variation, little patterns on each note of the scale. Fifth way is to add double stops. A couple different ways to do that, all covered in the fiddlehead.com course. The sixth way to add, well these are, there's maybe more than six, but the sixth way that I'm gonna talk about today is something I call the trill family. This is a trill. And we can build different types of um, embellishments and ornaments from that 
things that are common in Irish and Celtic music like turns. Point is you can practice them on a scale. So on. You can add a single layer of variation, like the 1-3 melodic pattern. And then when that is sounding good and comfortable, you could challenge yourself and add a second layer of variation, like slur 2. Okay, cool. I hope this was useful for all you fiddlers out there. Even for you non-fiddlers, I think this is a good lesson on just what you can do with music in general, and scales, tunes, so forth. Now, go fiddle with it. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive, step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video club. Excellent! And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.